هل رفع اليدين بالدعاء بعد الصلاة للمنفرد بدعة أم لا؟ Is the raising of the hands is the raising of the hands after salah for an individual person like say you're performing your salah and you raise your hands in dua after that is it bid'ah or not there is no doubt that rasulullah on many occasions raised his hands in dua there is no doubt that rasulullah spoke of raising dua uh, raising hands i'm sorry in dua the ulama, what they have said, rahimahumullah ta'ala, is that when I spoke about that example, specifically after salah, congregationally, if as an individual you feel there is an urge in you after salah to turn to Allah Azza wa in dua, because you feel the moment, you feel you need that dua, it's not just like a habit, I'm going to do it after every salah because it's sunnah, because it's not sunnah to do that after every salah. But if you feel an urge after salah to turn to Allah Azza wa in dua, and the dua after salah is heard, is, is one of the best times for, for, for us to perform dua is after salah. Dubura kulli salah. Not only after tashahud and before salam, as the Imam Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala says and opines that that's what it means uh, a dua after salah means after you finish the shahud before your salam that's a view of the Imam Ibn Taymiyyah and others rahimahullah ta'ala and that has support for it but also there is, uh, there is uh, the other views that lend support that have specific texts and general texts about the permissibility of raising your hands in dua after Salah, especially when your Qalb is present and you feel that need and the moment of after Salah is a very special moment uh, as Allah Azza wa Subhanahu wa Ta'ala characterized it. Fa insha'Allah Ta'ala fima a'lam in what I know now that uh, turning to Allah Azza wa in dua by raising your hands after Salah as an individual sometimes is not a bid'ah.